everybody, what's going on? This is Ben uh, from Warhammer Fantasy Battles. So, I've got a battle report between ONG, my army, and uh, a buddy of mine, Kelly Wheaton. Um, this is Buckeye Battles practice. He is taking Highborn Elves. Uh, 2,500 points. And we are playing Scenario 7. So it's a Frenzied Forest. So, this is how we all deployed. Um, this is his side. He's got, uh, don't mind my son in the background. He's, uh, loud. <laughs> so anyways, he's got, a uh, on the, from, from left to right, he's got, uh, it's just chaff, and he's got some, uh, dragon princes, I believe they are, with a wizard. Uh, he's got a sword masters, some spearmen, uh, with another wizard in it. Uh, looks like, uh, some guys with bows. Uh, Frost Phoenix. Uh, his general is on the griffin right next to him, and his BSB is on an eagle. And then he's got another... He's got five sisters, and he's got two bolt throwers. Uh, and then he's got two eagles over here, a unit of two eagles over here. Uh, now, from my, my side, uh, after vanguards, it is... I've got my Nasher Dashers, six of them, five... Uh, common orc boar riders uh, with shields um, and then I've got a git launcher my gargantula with a web flinger uh, 24 nasher herd uh, stone thrower another well a unit of common goblins with short bows and shields it's got my BSB has a panda protection pension and the banner of courage and then I've got my level 2 with um, the dispel dispel scroll um, then I've got my spider riders with throwing weapons and shields, and then I got my common goblin wolf riders with uh, shields and short bows. Then I've got my 28 common orcs with my general and my level 2 orc shaman who's got the Tome of Arcane Lore, and uh, I believe Fencer's Blades, and my orc hero has a two up or my orc lord has a two up five up and he's got the axe of, axe of the apocalypse uh, then I've got another um, another uh, stone thrower and then I've got my other gargantula with the web flinger as well and then my level one wizard um, now the forest in the center is the frenzied forest uh, for those of you who don't know a buckeye battle scenario um, where anybody who enters this forest um gets irresistible frenzy and they have to charge so unlike what i did which i didn't realize at the time uh, i put my feral orcs in there the last time when i played gene um, and i charged out my character which you cannot do you have to it's i saw it as a way around uh charging so it's illegal i asked uh the organizer of buckeye battles and he said can't do that so if anybody tries to now you know you can tell them no so, turn one, I deployed, uh, we deployed one one for a little bit, and then I deployed the rest of my army. So I go first, um, I move my spider riders up, and my goblin shaman after, after vanguards and everything. Um, the whole point of this is to try and knock out that bolt thrower so that he's not taking pot shots at my uh, gargantula. Uh, the other wolf riders moved a little bit, my Nasher herd moved right outside of the Frenzied Forest um, in hopes that, you know, we, it prevent him from getting anybody close so that, you know, when I do move into the forest, the very next turn, I'm, I'm charging out. And he doesn't want to charge me because I get an extra attack while I'm in the forest. Um, so, Common Arc stayed still. Common Goblin stayed still. My Gargantula turned just a little bit. And my Nasher Dashers moved. Uh, to the side of the uh, mounted head bashers, just in the event that he moves his fast cab up to try and get to my uh, my war machines. So I went ahead and magic phase. I cast big stomp. I think I got like six or seven dice. Uh, I threw the big stomp down because everything else was dispelled, and I killed uh, what he had twenty in there, and I killed six. Uh, shooting from this guy into them. I killed five. 
I believe. Um, over here, I killed three with my Git Launcher. Uh, and then my Web Flingers. I got these guys with the Web Flinger. Uh, I believe I killed two of them. And they got minus three initiative um, and dangerous trains. So, on to Highborn Elves, turn one. Moves his fast cap up like so. Uh, he didn't charge with the Dragon Princess because uh, you know, there's only three of them left in a wizard. Uh, his sword masters could only move uh, his normal movement. And yeah, so I believe he goes on to. Yep, these guys moved up. Uh, his. He's either shooting, or I think nothing happened for magic, and he's shooting, he killed all my forest goblin, uh, forest goblin riders. Um, my shaman over here has a wand of stability. I used it in the first round, uh, only because I figured he'd be dead after this from getting shot at, uh, but that wasn't the case. But he did flee because of forest goblin spider riders, uh, and he, he fled far, he fled like 12 inches. Uh, he panicked because the spider riders got blown up. These guys shoot at my wolf riders and kill one. And it goes on to my turn two. Uh, don't really have any charges. I just kind of moved my my shaman rallies on like a four. So I needed I needed at least a six to rally. I need rallies on a four. Uh, and then my wolf riders turn around, come to face the... Uh, Eagles here to try and get rid of them so they don't come into my war machines. <clears throat> my Grand Gantula is chilling in the ruins. Uh, rest of the movement looks like so. Uh, nobody else really moved. I just kind of maneuvered my Nasher herd, or Nasher dashes around a little bit. Uh, I did Evil Eye, killed off one of the birds. Uh, these guys shot and did one wound. Uh, this shooting, I think I killed one more from the Git Launcher. Uh, this guy shoots and kills three more of these guys. Um, he shoots and he hits them and kills maybe like two or th maybe three more or so. Um, and it was on his turn. My shooting has been absolutely insane. Uh, I must have gotten, you know, I think I haven't gotten one misfire this game so far. Uh, and I've been just knocking things apart. But then again, it is elves, and they have toughness three, so, you know. Uh, so he calls out a charge here, and a charge here. He fails with the dragon princes, and he fails with his eagle. I don't know how he failed. I don't know how the eagle failed. The eagle only needed, like, a five on three dice. And he got, like, a ones and twos. So really shitty luck on his part. Um... I mean, that that's crap. That sucks. Uh, but also, there's one other thing. He forgot to deploy his, a his ambushers, um, which we figured out in, like, turn four, or turn... Yeah, turn four, uh, which could have turned the tide of the game, or, you know, could have... Uh, it would have done something. But anyways, we'll continue. Uh, he casts a spell and gets a miscast. I think he did a... The swarm of insects onto my Doom Diver or my Git Launcher, and he does two wounds, and he had something like 17, 17 dice. You know, they got two sixes, um, but he takes a wound. Yep, there it is. Then uh, these shoot and kill my shaman. Unfortunately, he only has a six-up save, and they have a strike four bows. Uh, so, this is all of his movement. He swift reformed both his uh, spearmen and his, and his uh, bowmen over here and to get him off the hill so they didn't get shot at anymore. Um, he shoots and does two wounds to my gargantula over here, and then he turns to my turn three. I charge. I make the charge. I failed the DT in the fucking ruins, and I flee. Bunch of pansies. Uh, but, you know, they, they did the job, I guess. 
so this is the rest of the movement right here. Move my uh, Nasher herd into the forest. Um, I move my BSB's unit up a little bit more to get closer to the impending combat. Uh, move my General's unit up closer as well. Um, my Wolf Riders are still fleeing. Uh, or, well, I put the marker down for him. Gargantula moved him 7 inches just so I could still fire my web launcher. So I go ahead and shoot this. Hit the Swordmasters and minus them by 3 initiative. Uh, and give them dangerous trains. Or 2. Minus 2 initiative. This guy shoots and hits them. They are in a minus 3 initiative. They are not minus 3 movement. That's just the token that I have. Um, and they have to take dangerous terrains. Then my Git Launcher comes in. And he hits the unit. Since there's only two Dragon Princes and the Shaman, uh, or the Wizard, uh, I have to allocate one per. So allocated one to each Dragon Prince, and then I allocated two to the Shaman. So the Shaman got outright killed, uh, and I only killed one Dragon Prince. But I only diverted four inches, and I came back on a five. So uh, This guy shoots, and... Pops the BSB. Uh, he failed his roll. Um, I rolled a 5 to wound, so I did 5 wounds on him. And he just blew up. He shoots. And get a direct hit on the general. Uh, but he ward saves it. Luckily. Uh, for him, at least. This guy shoots his bows. And I think plinks off like one more of these guys. Uh, it goes into the bottom of third for him. He does yet again another charge with his eagle. And he does dragon princes and his frost phoenix charge into my boar boys. My boar boys fail the terror check and they flee five inches, which doesn't put him through my doom, my uh, git launcher. Uh, and then he charges them again with the general and the general pushes him off the board. And he failed his panic check and turn around can't fire next turn. Uh, the Dragon Prince rolls a one. He does his, he rolls to, he rolls to do his charge, and he rolls to do the dangerous train and gets a one. So, Dragon Prince's essentially did nothing. Uh, and then he redirected from, with his Frost Phoenix into my, uh, Nasher Herd. Um, and his general, I believe, just had his general fail charge. So, he gets in, his general gets a 5 on his failed charge, uh, Eagle finally gets in, um, I do have an Orc Bully on these, so uh, T4, Strength 4. So this is overall what it looks like, this is all he's got left, just right here, and his Eagle, and then I think his uh, Fast Cav. Uh, so his Fast Cav moves right over here. Remaining moves for this one. Uh, and then he shoots. Kills another dog. This one shoots. And puts one wound on my Gargantula. Uh, in this combat he kills three. Including stomps. And I do two wounds. Um, since I can't claim... Ranks I don't think. Uh, I mean it's still... I mean, it's a push. Because he did two wounds. And I did... Or he did three wounds. Or maybe not. I did two. Yeah. Wait. I need a charge. And three wounds. And I did two wounds. So, I mean, I lost by two, but I think we... I don't remember how we did this. Um, or he's got two wounds left. I can't remember. Um, I don't know why I took so many pictures of this. Anyways, uh, this goes on. It's a push. No wounds. Um, right here, turn four. Uh, I charge my Gargantula into the flank of the Frost Phoenix, and that thing's gonna die. Um, these guys rally on double ones. Remaining moves, I toss my Nasher, her, my Nasher Dashers right in between the Fast Cav and my Git Launcher, because Git Launcher is awesome. Um, I move up my Common Goblins and my Common Orcs. And my Gargantula, another seven inches. Uh, magic phase went very well for me. Uh, I got the stay quiet, the aura, so 
both my Gargantula and my Nasher Herd have minus one to hit, and I've got Hatred on the Frost Phoenix, and they're all re-rolling ones to wound. This guy shoots his Web Launcher onto the uh, Swordmasters and minuses three initiative on them, and they take Dangerous Strains at the charge. Um, I, as as you'd expect, I completely completely wipe the floor with these guys. Um, he fluffed all of his attacks. Um, but I wiped the floor with this Frost Phoenix. And reformed like so. Uh, this one I did a wound. He did a wound. It was a push. Uh, and then he charges his um, general into my Gargantula. Uh, he's got minus one to hit. And I'm rerolling ones to wound in combat. Uh, he charges here. And I think, uh, oh, maybe that counter, that counter was in the wrong, wrong position. So, uh, let's go back. So it is the bottom of four, and this is the charges he made. Um, so let's continue. So now movement, he moves these guys over here. He does some more shooting, kills down to a dog. Uh, he flees, and he runs 11 inches. These guys, um, during combat, shooting and magic was a bust for him. Uh, shooting was uh, just against those dogs, because most of everybody else was in combat or not worth shooting at. Um, <clears throat> he kills one of my Nasher, her Nasher Dashers, and I kill four of his. Uh, guys, I completely forgot to attack with my uh, night goblins, so, you know, whatever. Uh, over here, he does three wounds, I believe, and I do two. Uh, moves on to my turn five. I also forgot to attack with my forest goblins on the top of my gargantula at that turn as well. Uh, turn five, I throw my, and literally throw my Nasher herd away into his sword masters. Um... I kill his eagle. He does one more wound to my rock lobber. He fled off the table because he's a pansy bitch. Uh, and then I move both my common goblins and my common orcs into the frenzied forest, which would get me 250 points per unit in there. Okay. And then... Um, I move my Gargantula up to the flank of his bowman. Now, the the reason I did this is because I didn't know how anything else was going to go around here. And if anything, I could, you know, terror check these guys off the board because the general's nowhere to be near, nowhere, nowhere near them. So, um, I got Zap off on this unit, um, with like three dice, I got like 15 uh, I think I got triple fives. And I killed nine guys. Insane. Uh, and with this one, I got hatred on his general. And he let it go because he figured he'd have... He, he let it go because he, he's... He he thinks he's going to kill my, my Gargantula. Which I believe it. I think he's going to kill my Gargantula before... Um, before I even get to attack. But in the event that he doesn't, I have hatred. So I shoot my uh, stone thrower here, kill two. Um, these guys just killed the other uh, elf and reformed. Uh, these guys killed four. And then it... Uh, I did, you know, I did four wounds. He did, he did basically wiped out the entire unit, um, and I just exploded. So I do no wounds to the Swordmasters. I do one wound to my own Gargantula, and he does uh, one wound to my Gargantula as well. And my Gargantula's got seven wounds left. Or he's got one wound left. So, <laughs> and uh, he... Uh, he fails to wound with his griffin. His griffin had to do one wound, and he failed to wound. He got a he got a uh, a four when he needed a five. 
and I was like, well, this is just, that just sucks. That's game over. So, I swing, and that was one wound to his general with my gargantua because he armor saved one of them, and then ward saved all but one. And then I was like, oh, wait, my forest goblin's on the top. I attack with them to hit his fives. I roll like four or five fives. And then I re-roll because of hatred, and I get like two more fives. Uh, and then I roll to do my wounds, and I roll like four sixes. And then I rolled a one, and I grabbed the one, re-rolled it, and it was a six. So I did four more. He failed his he failed all four of his armor saves and got all but one ward save and that killed his general. And his swordmasters panicked and started fleeing. Um I reformed. The, it, we didn't figure this out until after my turn had ended and it went to his turn. I was like, oh wait. Um so these are things I'm gonna have to remember when I'm at the tournament or else it won't even matter. Um, so, in the end, this these two units in this frenzied forest each get 250 victory points. Um, he had five of his archers left. He had two models in his spearmen with his wizard. Uh, he had three sisters left and two... Uh, Bolt throwers with five fleeing sword masters. So, and this was just the bottom of turn five. So on turn six, on turn six, I would have charged with my gargantula to make those guys flee off the table. Um, I mean, if he, if he would have stuck around, they would have all been dead anyways, and then I would have overrun into his sisters and then killed all them too. Um, I don't think so. And I also would have charged with my gargantula to his swordmasters in hopes that they'd flee off the, the table, and I still have my Nasher Dashers there too, so I would have, I could have potentially charged his swordmasters with my Nasher Dashers and made them flee a little bit further, and then did a, another charge with my gargantula to make them flee off the table. And hopefully they would have panicked. They would have fled through his bolt thrower and panicked the bolt thrower off the table. So I could have, if we had gone throughout the entire six turns, um, he would have lost everything uh, because he had nothing else that he could do. So in this, this is a a complete and utter massacre. <laughs> Sorry, my two-year-old's being crazy. So, it it's like 500 points right in the center, and I did a successful charge out of the force. So that's going to be plus one battle point, and then I have another 500 points here. Plus I have 200 points for killing both his general and his BSB. And I get the banner from his sword masters, um, and then at the end of the game I probably would have gotten his spearman... And his archers, and that would have gotten two more banners. So that would have been another 150 points um, on top of the 200, so 350 plus the 500, so I'd have 850 victory points just in, you know, other things, plus an extra battle point and uh, plus two more battle points for being, for controlling the woods. Maybe it would have been. Maybe doing plus four for controlling the woods. I don't know. I can't remember the actual uh, stuff. But this was my first game with this list. Uh, this is my Buckeye Battles list. <clears throat> and I wasn't expecting this big of a win. And I'm assuming I'm not going to make these kind of big wins at Buckeye Battles because um, not everybody is toughness three. Uh, so... I'm at least hoping to get, you know, some good games. Um, 
I've been I was really lucky with this one, um, considering. So you know my previous my my previous track record. Uh, if you look at my other battle reports from one through like fifteen are all losses. Um, so this is a, a nice a pleasant turn of events. Um, I am. We are only a few more days away to go to Buckeye Battles. And uh, I, th I think I'm getting there. I'm going to try and get there around 6.30 at night. I'm going to show up at the, the event. And uh, if somebody wants to play me, um, and like, a, you know, before the, you know, on a Friday night, then uh, just let me know uh, in the comments or whatever. And uh, we can all meet up and play some games. Uh, before the actual tournament begins. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, I don't think I'll be getting any more battles in until Buckeye, so uh, don't expect any more battle reports from me until after Buckeye battles. Um, anyways, that's it. Peace.